whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and look what the cat dragged in, my buddy Manny. That can mean only one thing, it is time for malts.com. Yeah, Mark and Manny's malts, another Mark and Manny's malts and it's been ages yes. since we've been together, yes. Manny. Yes. Why is wrong. that? There's a little thing going around. Uh, a little dirty animal and I'm not, not talking me. about Manny, no, no, I'm talking about Covid of course. It has. It has inhibited us from coming together, unfortunately, but it has not stopped us from selecting delicious casks. And this is the uh, the Canvas series. Manny, what is the Canvas series all about? What have we got here? Well, um, as you know, the Canvas series, we uh, approached uh, Monique Trump to create our labels. Uh, here they are. Oh, beautiful artwork. Stunning. We started with a nice Quilla. Mmm, I love Always good. Always good. <laughs> then we went over to Old Rostu. That's not something you see every day. Not too many about. Not too many around. No, no. that one was very good, very fruity, very, nice. uh, very little milly, if I can say that. Yes, right? it's the yeah. same thing. Uh, uh, and, and then, then, if you look closely at the at the artwork, you see the mill. Exactly. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's and, Monique for you. She she incorporated yeah. her tasting notes into the into the little. Artwork there. Yes. Yeah. Number three, our, our summary, Indian summary whiskey. Oh, Fetakan. Oh, uh, another one of those noble unknowns. Yeah, yeah, they don't. But then now, the final one, Manny. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm so happy. You and me both. Uh, yes. Buna Havu. Buna. We're going back to Isla. We're go we started in Isla and we end in Isla. But what is so special about this Buna? <gasps> Manny, tell us. What's oh, so special well, about this Buna? Well, first of all, look at the color. <laughs> This is stunning. It's also an unpeated one. It's very nice. Uh, and it on a PX sherry. Unpeated Bunahaven matured on a Pedro Gimenez sherry cask. Wow. Yes. And obviously, bottled at cask strength again. Of course. Uh, of this course. is bottled yes. at 52.7% ABV. Yeah. And um, only 50 bottles, of course. Yes. Now, you see that I poured it already because. We've tried it before and we feel that if you pour it and you allow it to breathe for a little a, bit for no. well, three, four, five minutes, it becomes even better than when you just pour it from the glass and get get going. No, just pour it, leave it to breathe, and you will thank us later. Yeah. So do you know what, what else is special about this label? Uh no. Let me show you. Oh <laughs> the original artwork, yes. Monique, Monique Trump yes. from Holland. Whiskey Arts. You may have met her at one of a festival. This is so we have we have four of these, one for each label, and this is the beautiful, beautiful painting of Bunahavan. Yeah. I need to find a place in my study for that somewhere. No. No? no. What do you mean no? Mine. Oh, you claimed it already. Yes. So that's that's you know, it's it's always nice to do things together. We're best friends, we're like brothers from another mother, but then you have four releases mm -hmm. and you have four beautiful paintings that Monique has created, original artwork, one of one. And then, of course, you have to share it with your friend, and then you're like, "Oh, I, I, I've got this beautiful house with walls that can can then." Your I've walls got, I've in got, your house. I've got the room. Ah. I've got the room to hang these four paintings, but no, my buddy claims two of them, and he claimed the Buna. Anyway, we might not be friends that much longer. But but let's 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 not digress and go back to to the Shall whiskey. Shall we go, go, go back to the whiskey? Place? Let's go to the whiskey at <laughs> hand. So. Uh, Bunahaven 2009 unpeated PX matured 52.7 percent yeah. mm. on the nose. Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> I still remember the day when we first oh, bought yeah. this and selected it, and we both were like in the sample. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's got lots of earthy notes, but also some 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 sweet toffee and something that reminds me a bit of. Rotting plants, and it's not an off note. No, it's, no, it's, it's like when you walk into a, a forest after uh, the rain. Yeah, exactly. And something like that. It's, yeah. I get some leather, something salty in there, and then some some Maggi mix spices. You know, some some uh, some dragon, some uh, yeah, a bit of chicken broth, uh, chicken yeah. brothy notes. Yeah, uh, old furniture. Yeah, old leather chair. Something musty, something really old school here. But there's also lots of uh, uh, sweet notes, like like some rum raisins, yeah, and some 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 apple sauce. It's very nice, and it does have a bit smokiness, but it's not peat; it's 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 wood smoke. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh wow! Cheers, buddy. Shall we? On the palate. 
Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Plums, raisins, uh, salted caramel, hazelnuts. It's There's a, a lot going on here. It's all there, yeah. yeah. A little bit of mocha. It's really mouth coating, it's very, very oily on the palate. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Yep. It's beautiful. I get some candied sugar, and now I've got lots of wood smoke, in fact. Warming your mouth completely. It's such a beautiful whiskey. It's perfect. Wow. And the alcohol, 52.7%, but I do not feel the urge to add any uh, water at no, all. No, you don't need that. It's, it's not, not, not a burning no. alcohol at all. It's no, just... no, it's perfectly integrated, yeah. making it a beautifully and very quaffable Buna right on the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> now that's a finish. A finish with capital F. It's long. It's a bit drying. Yeah. Mm. I get a, 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 a touch of espresso. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, but it's so satisfying. This is really, a, you get some chocolate at the death. It's truly astounding how it, good this yeah, finish is. It, it's, it's, and, it, and this is only 12 years old. I mean, it's quite young for... for you yeah, know. but no, no sign of it. It's no, very no, you, mature, it's, it, yeah, exactly. well balanced, yeah. all those terms. A bit of uh, old school notes in there. So yeah. if you were to pour this blind, people might, might actually think that this is 15 to 18 years old. Yeah. Um, well, despite maybe the feistiness, because it is 52.7%, which does give you a, a fierce kick to the teeth, Without burning, like Manny said, there's no burning sensation whatsoever. Though, so, ah, uh, this is something to put under your Christmas tree, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. For a few minutes and then open it. And... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't even put up my Christmas tree yet, but uh, this one is going under the Christmas tree. Yeah. Manny, it was great for you to come by again to create this video just for you. Manny came all the way from Holland again, even though we shouldn't be traveling, should we? Uh, but uh, no, but it was too long ago. We had our shots. Exactly, exactly. So sometimes so, you just have to. But you guys as well, please. Yeah. Keep it safe. Stay healthy and enjoy a good whiskey. And uh, Manny and I would like to end with uh, wishing you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Right. And that's all for this whiskey rambling from Mark and Manny's Malts. And uh, we hope to see it one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the marble with you.